JavaScript is a dynamically typed language and weakly typed language. So let us try to understand what is the meaning of these terms. Dynamically typed language. If you have worked with C, C++ or Java in these languages, those languages are statically typed languages. Unlike JavaScript, which is a dynamically typed language. So what it means is that, for example, in C, you will have to declare the type of the variables. So, for example, you want to create one variable C, but before you create any variable, you need to declare the type of that variable, what kind of data it is going to hold. So, this variable C is going to hold the integer data type, okay, only integers it can hold. But in JavaScript, you don't have to type any variables, you can just write, say, let A or let C like this. So, there is no type information, that is why. JavaScript is called as dynamically typed language. So what happens is that JavaScript interpreter or the compiler will decide or infer the type based upon what kind of assignment you are doing. So let us say you have done let A and then, then like this A is equal to say 12. Then data type of the A will become number and that happens at runtime or dynamically. So st statically it doesn't know the compiler or the interpreter what kind of type that particular variable is going to be there and as I said as per ECMAScript specification JavaScript doesn't have any types. Types are inferred at runtime. Now let us try to understand this term weakly type language what it means. So weakly type language means that if you want to add say a number with string can, can that happen? Yes, it can happen in JavaScript and that's why it is called as weakly typed language. But this is not possible in uh, strongly typed languages, for example, C, C++, Java, where you can't do just one plus and then strings, for example. So it will throw the error. So we can do in JavaScript something like this. Let C is equal to one plus one. And then answer will be 11. So at runtime it will decide that okay we are trying to add this one which is a number and one which is a string. So it is decided that it, it is not possible or user doesn't want to add those numbers. So it converts this into the string and then it just concatenates. it. But if you do it like say c is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 what happens is that since these two operands are like numbers it will do the sum of that and then this will be concatenated. So the output will be 21. So these quirky behaviors are there in JavaScript and that's why it's called as weekly type language. That's it. If you have more questions let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.